what what is she exactly? I mean, so yes, she's uh, she's Romani. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if she's from Romania. My, no. My, no, no, she's not from Romania. From Hungary, or I mean, or, it's or, or Italy, or, or, Italy for that or Northern matter. Italy. Yes. Right, that's true. Uh, those are the the the, the, the Romani. The, the gypsy are, is the, a little different. They're the gypsy. They don't like to be called the gypsy. They're called they're called the Romani, and they were traditionally the nomadic tribes of Europe. So they they are a little bit everywhere in Europe, but their culture. Uh, binds them together, and like in the Jewish culture, sometimes there are differences uh, within the culture, but there is a very strong old culture that binds older Romani, they like to be called. They have been deeply persecuted during uh, Nazism, you know, they were killed, uh, the Jews, six million, three million of uh, the Romani were killed. Oh, you know, really? Yeah, yeah, they really, they, so, um, to me, the attraction to play in, in the film, was first of all I'm familiar with these old uh, I'm not Romani I'm Roman from Rome <laughs> so Italian so it's confusing the words uh, but uh, but I you know I'm Catholic tradition and but I this is an ancient civilization the Italian and so is the Romani and I know the power of women you know they are generally shown as submissive with the men being in charge but in a lot of old tradition, the women are the real power. They let the men talk, but they are the power of the time. So I was familiar with that, and I was delighted to be able to play it. Um, and then always to play a nasty character is so much more fun to play pretty good. But she only plays that for about five minutes. What? The, 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 the behind the scenes. Yeah. The behind the scenes type of power. Because as soon as she as, as soon as you come out on screen, yes. There's no more mistaking who's the power. Who's the power? No, but uh, yeah, <laughs> wasn't you know, to but, me but, anyway. But she is also uh, warm, smiling, attentive, uh, uh, you know, for for a for a boss or a dictator to really function very well, there is all you also have to create a sim simple empathy. Yeah. So mm -hmm. she has, you know, I looked at Marlon Brando in The Godfather, and uh, he plays it like a very benevolent grandfather who has a little cat, who plays with the little girl. Does, you know the last scene where he does. So I thought, ah, oh, the key. It's so absolutely. If you're just angry all the time, you antagonize people. You are benevolent. That's how you get them in. I love I love what I've seen so far. <laughs> so I understand that not every script has been written um, for the show and the season as it goes. And I, I was wondering, is it exciting to uh, not have that kind of full story behind you and the, approach? Each well, one? we do. You know, last was here, so we have a few script and we have a little bit where. It Going, though we may not have the detail of the words. Uh, yeah. When, you know, it's particularly, it, it's a script I wrote as, as a spec script and it's sold. And to me, uh, you know, you, I mean, I don't think anyone would buy something from me if I didn't have an idea where it was going. But I mean, I think, <laughs> you know, you have a responsibility to do that. So the script comes with, a sa you know, most of a second script and a Bible for theoretically, you know, five, six years. Uh, you know, all, two thirds of which gets thrown out. You know, as you progress, but we we had a you know our script, our scripts were well ahead of, of what we shot, and we we had a really pretty solid idea of where we were going. So it wasn't a complete mystery. I mean, what, what the, the advantage to not being done once the cast comes on is you start to write for actual great actors instead of just does that affect you as a writer? Totally. Uh, like, depending on your cast, do you try to write for that kind of personality, or do you still stick to like a vision you had in your head, or is the character yeah, too strong? The, 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 well, the, 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 the joy of this kind of collaboration is that the characters evolve once actors make them three dimensional. And it really, it, it can be totally different. I've had experiences where I thought someone was, you know, going left and they went right, and right was a much better choice. But yeah, once I know how the people speak and you know what what sort of like like they seem to respond to and, and I love about what they do, it becomes much, much easier. I mean, you know, once Isabella was Rita, it was just like, oh 
sequence. That's why it's so important for you to see it. <laughs> um, but you really, yeah, it, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's one of the it great is a choices. Collaboration. It, it always is. Even when you have a feature film that is two hours, basically, like two episodes of a series, the, the actors, you know, they do influence the script because there is something that you exude that is part of your personality or something. Are you allowed to the, improvise? No, you're not allowed to improvise. I think it's the casting. I think it's the before. No, it's the casting that is very yeah. important. Yeah. That you cast according to what you want and then you know that the person can add a dimension. I would imagine, less if I talk to you, but that Rita, I imagine that you always wish to be an outsider so i have an accent I, my gestuality is different and rita is a foreigner so maybe there were other names than me uh, you know but a lot of them were american actors but all of a sudden you see a foreigner and there's something so awkward that oh yeah that fits both the character better you know and so that's how you build layers so Les, um, I was particularly excited when I realized how much you guys were going to go into the Romani culture because um, my great grandmother was actually Romani. She before she immigrated from where? Um, from Slovenia area. Um, and so I'm curious, what drew you to this? How? What did your research look like into the into the culture? Well, it's 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 an oddly like three prong thing. My my dad's Transylvanian Hungarian, yeah, very cool. so. He, and his dad was a musician, so the stories I grew up with, that I get to say gypsies here because it's from those stories, were, you know, the, the, the fiddle player who came to town. It wasn't like, oh, you know, they hide under the bridge and steal your babies or any of that stuff. So I had sort of this, this, you know, nice, these nice stories from my dad. When I started to, I didn't know that, that the psychic parlors were mostly Romani families until I had already started writing. And so I discovered that. And so, as I discovered that, and I, you know, the, the script, I worked on the script for, for two and a half years before anybody saw it, so I had a, a lot of time to do research. And, you know, it was, it was really important to me to be fair to that culture, even though I was talking about criminals. Um, and, you know, the, 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 I mean, you would know this better than I would, but the, the fortune telling aspects of that, of that community are. are you know, go back as far as India, and they're, they're, you know, it's complicated because it's a business, and you do take advantage of people, and there is clearly an attitude among the fortune tellers that if you fall for it, it's my money. But at the same time, these are people with, you know, strong faith and beliefs. And, and um, we had a, a there's a, a Romani family that, that's active in Vancouver, and, and a lot of uh, the Markovich family, and, and uh, Peter Markovich was, was our technical advisor on the set. And I, I spoke extensively with a woman named Ann Sutherland, who wrote, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but she wrote a lot about, you know, Rodney culture over the years. And, um, you know, it's, it's, I mean, we, we do a lot of it in the first season. We try, you know, and, and also, not to say anything bad about another show, but there were some models on reality TV of places I didn't want to go. Yeah. You know, and so... Like, that was like, well, for my writer's room, I was like, there are some shows you're going to be tempted to watch. Do not watch these shows. 